Why do you throw that pen at me? Because I found it in there and you're like, cool, you stole the only good pen we have. So earlier when Hannah was in the bathroom, our hemp oil that sits on the counter like right there, um, it spilt because I did not twist the cap back on and it got all over Hannah's shirt and she thought that it was going to be destroyed. This is my favorite shirt. I'm going to have this shirt until it's like 100 holes in it. <laughs> We're living like in the woods and Derek's going to be like, take that He's gonna like burn it one night. Yeah, take that shirt off. I, like I don't, I shirt. like the shirt too. It's so comfy, like you don't understand. It's from Free People. It's a good in-between shirt because it's like 65, 70 degrees out. It's not really, you know, long sleeve leather and it's not really tank top leather, so it's kind of like... In between. This is kind of weather. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a meetup going on today at Sushi Garden Restaurant, so excited to do some all-you-can-eat sushi. I don't think Hannah's gonna do the all-you-can-eat sushi, but do we? Holy crap, brah. Are you, like, wrapped up enough there? Or? Look at how he was before. <laughs> <laughs> These dogs cannot get comfy enough in this bed. Too bad in the tiny house, they won't be able to get up to the bed, so. Are you gonna make the couch like a pullout so if we have people over they could stay or no? Well, yeah, I think I think it'll be a pullout. But I think they could just sleep in the office loft. Yeah, but if you were gone, I'd probably sleep downstairs with the doggies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sleeping alone. Right, Bubba. Right, Bubba. He's not you big on the kisses. Your mommy? He'll give me a kiss. Can I have a kiss? Bubba no. is very stingy with the affection. He's like, nah. He's like, mom. Oh, he, oh my god, he gave her a kiss. I got two. Two kisses. Bubba is like, giving the love out like he's got so much of it. <laughs> so we just put out the mukbang video today, and I watched a little bit of Mummy Tang's uh, mukbangs, and I was like, yeah, like we could totally do something like that. Maybe we could do some recipes and just talk about, you know, what we're doing or whatever and some some news in the <laughs> vegan community and I think yeah. it'd be pretty cool. Maybe we will have to make them like 20-30 minutes long. But it would be the only video for that day. Yeah. So and it'd be like once a week. It's not gonna be like every day, but... It'd be like eating dinner with us, you know? Yeah. So if you want to eat dinner with us, we'll uh, do a mukbang. Let us know what we should eat for the first mukbang. Though. Yeah. We could do, we could do like instant pot recipes. I think those would be kind of cool because a lot of people have the instant pot book and they already have instant pots and... Call it an instant pot mukbang. Instant pot mukbang. Baba's f***ing jacked for it. Meetup is done, so we did sushi garden. Cashew cow. So good. Best ice cream I've ever had. I can't really. believe. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, it was so good. I can't believe I did all you can eat sushi and then I actually had some ice cream up afterward. It was the best. It was ever. so good. Any other vegan ice cream I've ever had that blew it away. Cool. <sighs> all right, the dogs are gonna be totally pissed because it's past their uh, past their eating time, so we're gonna head on home and then have a late night dog park chat. So another dog park chat topic is like, do we ever fight and stuff? Um, yes, we do. It has gotten to be to the point where we fight every single day. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. It's gotten a lot better. Um, obviously, like when we first started living together, it was a big kind of like living arrangement uh, change for both of us. You have to realize that we went from talking online every day to living together every day. It wasn't like he lived, you know, a couple miles away and we'd go on dates and see each other and sleep over at each other's houses. 
and then you know we dated for a couple of years it was like <laughs> we met online we met like a few times in person fell in love and BAM got married and lived together <laughs> like, and I lived alone for five or six years with Bubba before that when Derek came it was just like I mean we didn't fight a lot for the no. first few months like we didn't but I, I feel like we fought the most during the first few months yeah, but we got through it. It's weird when you go from never being together to being together all the time, then to taking the amount of space you lived in, cutting it in a third, and then living in that. Moving away from like everything that you've ever like known in a totally new place. We'll never ever obviously put it on the vlog that we that we're fighting, so don't believe that we live we have the most perfect relationship. I think fighting and disagreements is certainly um, healthy to a certain extent, but you express certain things that need to be worked on in the relationship. Yeah. And then that's also a healthy thing because then good things can come from that. But if it's like a daily basis or even a weekly basis, maybe it's like, maybe it's a bit too much. I think generally it just comes out from having like some negative feelings about something and then projecting it towards someone else when it's really not even like about your partner or anything. It's just something that's going on inside of you. Mm -hmm. Because most, yeah, I would say like most <laughs> fights or most things that annoy you in a relationship are not to do with the other person. It's usually to do with you. If there's like things that were really bothering me that Hannah did, chances are maybe I'm contributing to the thing that annoys me so much. Like say like the dishes weren't done. It's like, well, do I always do my dishes all the time? Maybe I don't. And I mean, we used to kind of fight a lot about chores because it was like we just moved in together and we moved to a new place and it was finding that balance, but now we don't really fight about that shit at all. No. Like, it just gets done. If he doesn't do it, I do it. If I don't do it, he does it. Like, now we don't really give a shit. But before, Derek wanted to make, like, lists and charts and who's gonna do this and who's gonna yeah. do that and have, like, a cleaning day on Sunday. And I was Cause like, then it holds no. you accountable, right? Like, and then there's, no no. Argu then there's no argument, so. I was like, no. Especially when you move in with somebody, it's, like, different just because you're gonna fight in relationships, but you need to figure out why you're fighting and what it is you're fighting about. And if you're focusing on things that you don't like about your partner or things that you wish that you could change, like you have to change that thought because you're never gonna get what you want out of them. You need to focus on what you love about them and what they do that's good and like all the amazing stuff about them and the things that they do. And then you're gonna get more of that, you know? And I think that really, that aspect there really ties into, cause I know a lot of the girls um, who are in our Facebook group and watch our videos, um, they might have boyfriends or husbands that are not vegan and that mm -hmm. just drives them up the wall. And it's like you can't focus on that aspect of them. You have to like focus on the good aspects, the things that you do love about them. And then usually if you yeah. focus on the things that you do love about them, then you will typically get more things that you can love them about. So maybe down the road, yeah. they will start to eat a vegan diet or yeah. something. It's like having a boss who comes up to you every day and is like, you're terrible, like you're the slowest worker I have, you suck, blah, blah, blah. Like, what are you gonna do? Do you wanna work harder for that person? Do you wanna do things that please that person? Like, you're probably gonna start looking for a new job. So like, if you're giving your boyfriend shit about how gross his food is or like whatever, blah, 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 this and that, how he should be vegan and how he should be different, you need to either A, realize if you really want to be in that relationship and figure out the things that you actually love about that person and why you're actually with them and focus on those things. And then, you know, they'll feel like you, they're very loved and like in this loving relationship, they'll want to do things, you know, that please you. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to feel like they're not worthy enough or the way they are is not perfect enough or Nobody wants to yeah. feel like that because then that's like not a, a loving relationship. That person's not gonna be able to reciprocate yeah. the proper feelings back to you. So. Especially from their partner and especially yeah. from yourself. Like so many people, they'll be nice to everyone around them but then they go home and they beat themselves up. And they're like, oh, I'm fat and I'm ugly and I'm a failure and I'm lazy and blah, 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 blah. It's like, you have to have a good relationship with yourself to have a good relationship with anyone else. Mm -hmm. That's where it all comes from. That is. And I think that we've kind of, mastered that over <laughs> all the fights and like all the because we realized why we were fighting and just like worked past it like we never had a big chat about it or anything but i think that we just realized that we're both not perfect we're not always going to do the dishes or take the trash out or whatever mm -hmm. but it's not like you have to be like oh you didn't do it it's like i'm just going to do it and i know hannah will do it the next time 
or Hannah like makes me tea every morning and cooks me meals and like da 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 da. <laughs> and Derek like cleans the bathtub and like <laughs> vacuums and but we both do laundry and both do dishes and we both clean and we both cook and like anyways. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Alright, we will catch you guys on tomorrow's vlog. Talk to you soon. Peace. <laughs>